During my really depressive period, I was creating. I think there were different stages of, of this period and I didn't really register it as depression until like almost a year in. And I was feverishly creating, but then everything kind of ground to a halt. In that time, I actually stopped performing, I stopped singing, and I wasn't able to really connect to music in the same way. I couldn't even really listen to it. During that time, the one thing that I did create was a, a single called Diosa, which was like a power anthem. Diosa. The lyrics are Diosa, uh, Reina Chula Bella. It's like, it's like saying like, I'm the most powerful one. I'm, and it's like, the, it's kind of the most empowering, like simple message that I've ever shared in a song. And it was ironic that like, while making the most like cheerful, kind of like affirming music, I was the most depressed I'd ever been. I had gone several years uh, without uh, addressing some pretty major uh, life events. The death of my father was really traumatic and I just didn't know what to do and I just threw myself into work. I had my first tour as a headliner and I toured in Europe and like I sold out my first show and I got to play like, you know, my dream venue in New York and all this stuff, you know, so I was kind of just on this vibe. but what. I, I wasn't really tending to myself. And I think also some of that lifestyle really led me to burnout. You know, I wasn't like paying attention to my nutrition or my sleep or the things that I needed. It turns out when you put things in a box and like push them down and keep pushing them down, like after a while they're gonna resurface in some way or another. Logistically, I ended up on empty financially and just emotionally too. But then I tried to tell someone about it and it was like took a lot for me to tell them I was like I think I'm depressed it's like it was so hard to even have the tools or like the understanding the perspective to see what was going on with me it's like oh but you're so happy but like everything is going so well or like oh but you re we just did this thing or we just were on vacation and it's like that doesn't mean that someone's like well though like that just because you you know like our our lives like in public or even with our friends and family is like not necessarily always representative of something that's really going on it was very hard to do anything it was hard i couldn't even like go grocery shopping i couldn't finish an email it was really hard to write a sentence um but i just like i don't know i think there was something inside of me that really wanted to live uh, and that kept going and was like, okay, I have to put this out, I have to do this thing. Everything that I was doing made a difference. You know, every single time I tried to do anything made a difference, you know, and I, I believe helped me get where I am. But I think the biggest, the one thing was like telling, saying it, telling people that I loved, you know, and, and the realization was like, my, those people who love me, like they're just gonna love me no matter what. That was like, I needed, to, I needed to know that like, I was loved regardless of like, whether I make a good song or I did well that year with my work or not. Like my family just loves me for me, you know? And that's it. And that was, that was like a huge, that was realizing that was huge. You don't have to rush to talk about what you're going through. You don't have to have the words, you don't have to know. You can take your time you know, try to share, try to be around people. The more we can share as we feel comfortable in our own time, like the, the more we can help each other to know that like, yo, this is possible. Like the sun can come out. <laughs>
hold on love, hold on love to 